it's only here from your past is a gift using a new phone so it's taking a while to figure out all the different features and how to um, make the videos with this one so I'm hoping it'll come out nicer than the previous ones so in my book what I wanted to explain is that throughout the book there's two main concepts and the first one is that we create our reality with our thoughts now I truly believe that but I haven't spent a lot of my videos going into that because I think there's already enough people you know on YouTube and out in the world you know when the secret came out that was dedicated to that uh, there is enough information out there for you to go into that concept you know that what you think about over and over and over again is what's going to create your reality so that was one idea and that's one thing that I have learned from my own experience to be absolutely true the things that I've thought about over and over and over and over again they have created my reality time and time again I have no doubts about that but for me the biggest gift that I can give to you through my book is to learn forgiveness how to forgive what forgiveness is all about because a lot of people seem to think well forgive you know we forgive the other person and it makes the other person feel good that we forgave them for whatever they did okay they hurt us and they said sorry and we forgive them that makes them feel better and some people seem to think that forgiveness has something to do with the other person but forgiveness is for you it was only always for you yes it can make the other person feel good that you forgave them that it's you know we're okay now we're good to go we're friends again it's all nice but the truth of forgiveness is when you're angry with someone you're holding on to that you're only hurting yourself whatever they did okay say whatever they did or whatever they said these this other person or people okay that have upset you and that you're angry with them or you're sad you know they've, they've created this incredible sadness in you because you know for the longest time I was incredibly sad that I felt I wasn't wanted by my mum that you know for a long time that caused a great sadness in me you know and it eventually led to a depression but after that that turned into anger you know because how dare you bring me into the world and not want me <laughs> you know so this is always looking at it as if someone is doing something to you deliberately to hurt you that that's what they're out there to do they want to deliberately hurt you and you're looking at it from those eyes okay and as long as you keep looking at it from those eyes that that person was picking on you deliberately to hurt you you hold on to this anger you hold on to this grudge you hold on and you won't let go as long as you keep looking at it from that point of view so there's many different chapters in my book with many different people of things I've been through in my life and how I've learned to see the gift in it see the gift in that experience at the time I felt like I was in hell for some of those experiences you know it felt like I was never getting out of it and I just I didn't want to be here I just wanted it all to end and I'd had enough of the pain but when I actually looked at it, when I started to write down all the notes to create this book, what well, ended up being a book, because originally it was a journal. It, it was a, you know, for me it was a cleansing journal. I was just getting rid of all the junk inside of me. I wasn't planning on turning this into a book originally. You know, for me it was like I just one day woke up and thought, I have to write it all down. Every single moment, every single experience, and every single thought that went with it, good or bad, didn't matter. I had to write it down and then I had to look at it it was just something for me I felt compelled I had to do it for me I felt that my life I just didn't want to go on living the way I was living and for some reason if I didn't do this nothing would ever change and it was true you know until I did this and I started to look at each event and I looked at it 
I really, really looked at it for what it was. Then, and only then was I able to start looking at it from different angles. You know, and thinking, oh, that person was coming from this place. And this person was coming from that place. And at the end of it all, it had nothing to do with me. That was the truth of it. Many of the things that people say and many of the things that they do have absolutely nothing to do with you. But we take it on as a personal attack, as we're not wanted. We're not good enough somehow. That that person couldn't love us. And the fault doesn't lie in you. You're not the one that is unlovable. It's just that other person can't love. It's that simple. They've reached a place in their life where they just can't love. They don't know how to. They don't know what it is. They wouldn't know what love was if it smacked them in the face. They wouldn't know. And some people, when they see love, when they see other people loving each other, you know, whether it's parent, you know, a parent to a child or a parent, to, a person to a dog, even just that simple kind of love, they put it down and they reject it and they, they can't even tolerate that. They can't even stand to be in the presence of love because to them it hurts so much. So we're going to talk more about this in the next few videos to help you release that, finally release that, that you can forgive and you can let go when you come to that place. Okay, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.